So Tommy, a very productive afternoon in the south coast for the shots. Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest positive for us is we come away with hopefully nobody with any knocks or niggles. We've got, we got a contact whack of, on one of the players. But other than that, we've all come through it. The lads who ramped up a little bit to 60, 65 minutes look like they're, they're no worse off for that. So the countdown now becomes down towards pre-season rather counting up. Um, and I've just told them that now. It'll be more competitive and more will be expected of them in the next, what we got left, four games, three games, four games. So from that point of view, I'm really pleased with where we are as a group in our fitness level. Because um, like I said, that's now about five or six of them got through to 65 minutes. Um, it'll be the opposite on Tuesday in terms of everybody will get game time. They've just got to accept that when they're on the pitch, it's a fitness exercise, it's training for us. Um, and the goals are a bonus, obviously. We had, we had enough chances in the first half, I felt, to have scored at, at least one or two goals. And when we had to defend, because Tottenham, listen, as everybody knows at Oldershot, Rendell's a good, good player, and young Maxi, for his first start with us in terms of the first team squad while I've been here, I thought he handled, him, I hope handled it very, very well, the situation. So I'm delighted with, with everything that we, we tried, because we tried a different shape, we tried different personnel, and then we changed to another one. And everybody who's gone on have done themselves no harm in terms of the lads under contract and the ones who need answers from me, they'll get them after, after we've done this. Well, let's talk about the goals because um, certainly the first two beautiful moves, yeah. weren't they? Like really good team moves. Yeah, I mean, listen, I get frustrated on occasions and probably, probably air, air my frustration a little bit too early sometimes, even in these games. When in the first half, we've created some really good situations to get ourselves within 15 or 20 yards of the goal and then the decision is wrong because you're taking a shot from an angle that you don't score from or you're taking it from too far away and another pass which you might receive back so two passes will often change the direction of the defender get you closer to the goal and you get an easier chance and I thought a couple of the goals like you just said there is football to the final third and then three or four great passes and, and coolness because you know ultimately you're in front of the goal you might be close to it but you still got to put in the net and the lads who have done that deserve a part of the back. But like I said, some of the sacrifices to get to where we were, Ollie Harfield, who was playing centre half towards the end of the game, ran 80 yards, sacrificed himself high and wide for Tyler to cut in. And uh, yeah, it was a great goal from Zane Wall. And Josh Stokes and, and Zane Wall have got those goals. They're obviously two lads that are going to be hungry to get more goals this season, aren't they? Yeah. Are we seeing starting to really see what they can offer us? Well I think so. I think like I think the first 15 minutes of the second half and the way we set there was as good as we've been out of possession. It made us win the ball high with the pitch, but then the people on the pitch were very much the type of player you need in the situations you win the, win the ball. So uh, we're not getting excited at all. We're just really pleased that the lads listened to what we, we added at half time. The fitness part of the whole uh, project today has gone brilliantly for us. As long as Zane is okay to train on Monday, because he took a heavy whack to be fair to him. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great all round and we move on to the next one. Well, briefly looking ahead to the next one, it's obviously Farnborough. This is where the opposition kind of ramps up to a bit more of, of near our level. Is, is, is that where we're going to start really seeing a bit of a test for the lads? Yeah, I went, make no doubt about it. Jimmy's got a good group oh, yeah. of lads here. He's got some real good experience at both ends of the pitch and in the middle. When you've got, you've got a spine like he's got with, with um, Magri, Carter and Rendell, they're going to do very, very well in their league. He's got a hell of a set up, great pitch. So, I'm understanding of the fact that we're playing Farm Row, very, very local neighbours. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, another, it's another session for Russian. It'll be, as I call it, day 17 in a big brother house. And uh, we'll, they're the next opposition. But, it, you know, the, the result isn't the most important thing for me, although I don't have losing anything. So we will be set up to try and progress ourselves from this performance into that one. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.